Hi, I'm Philip Palmer, Robert H. Taylor Curator of Literary and Historical Manuscripts. The Morgan's renowned holdings of literature and art converge in this object, one of 12 illustrated letters in the collection written by the beloved author Beatrix Potter. On February 4th, 1895, a cold day not unlike this one, she wrote this letter to seven-year-old Noel Moore, the son of her former governess. Potter frames the letter with both words and pictures. It is a long time since I have been to see you, but it is too cold to drive with my pony. Here we see a sketch of a carriage moving through a winter landscape, leafless trees in the background, and a gray sky overhead with birds in flight. But this cold is quickly permeated by warmth. Just as Beatrix Potter looks ahead to the pleasant days of spring and summer, I shall be very glad when the warm weather comes. She imbues the wintry scene, once characterized by distance and inaction, with a sense of fellowship and possibility. I wonder if you have been making a snowman in the garden or feeding the sparrows? We have a great many every morning. Look at how the birds frame this page and give it a narrative logic. There's the sky above and the ground below, the birds flying down the page, alighting near the food scattered by children at the bottom. As we turn to the next section of the letter, we enter a world of warm domestic comforts, a fire, a blanket, and a beloved pet. My rabbit Peter is so lazy. He lies before the fire in a box with a little rug. Of course, this is Beatrix Potter's famous pet rabbit, Peter Piper, whom she often wrote about in her letters to children. Indeed, one of these letters, now held at the V&A Museum in London, would become the basis for her book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. According to Potter, the book was successful in part because it was, quote, written to a real child. Going back to the letter, we learn that it's time for Peter's claws to be trimmed. First, an unsuccessful attempt with scissors. Undaunted, Potter turns to the garden shears. As you can see, the pictures here are much more than illustrations. Indeed, they're interwoven into the syntax of the letter itself. He sat quite still and allowed me to do his little front paws. But when I cut the other hind foot claws, he was tickled and kicked, very naughty. And then the letter turns back to the outside world, first imagining Peter's life as a wild rabbit digging holes in the ground. And then something enchanting happens. The indoor commingles with the outdoor, and the playful children become sportive rabbits throwing snowballs. With nothing more than a pen and the goal of delighting her young friend, Beatrix Potter turns a quotidian winter day into fantasy.